Hey, you got Fox here. So today we got a game against Trillsap69. He was number seven in the salary cap rankings for the uh, tournament tonight for that top 64 ranking on the Xbox One. So we just got some gameplay against him today, and I guess that's the sponsors, the salary cap rank. I was pleasantly surprised um, seeing my opponents. Uh, a lot of the last few opponents that I played in the salary cap were in the top 64 slash top 100 as Monte Ball takes it to the end zone. Woo! Nice play outrunning the defense. So we're off to a good start right away. Right away. So over these next couple days, I'll try and get some of these uh, top players in my gameplay against them for you guys on the channel just to see how they play. I mean, you guys could watch the salary cap rank. There he's going to that little glitch route, but he can't get the play off right. He still gets his hands on the ball, but we knocked it out. So we got third and six, trying to stop him from converting. Nice read there. Bad user. I figured he'd go on the out route there, and he went to the post. So um, he kind of threw me for a loop there as he... Does a little bit of hurry up action back to the split close formation so we just got to learn to be the split close and have a good time oh just uh was too slow with the user but we will still proceed <laughs> nate askew uh showing his weakness against the run in that block shed that's why i wanted to make nate askew a golden ticket up that block shed and he'd be the perfect user because they if you only increase the user stats on nate askew he would be insane based on height speed everything combined Next year, I, I don't think he'll be in the game next year because they moved him to tight end in Carolina. But moving on the play, he's doing a lot of these option routes, it looks like. Uh, actually picking up some nice yards there on the ground. Cutting first downs in half, basically second and six. There, another bad block shed by Askew. But we actually get at it and not get pancake, which is kind of cool. Uh, there, we get some nice Ultron Verner, who's actually played pretty well for me in salary cap mode. My corners all have played pretty decent. There's a nice block shed up the middle. He's got Whitlock there taking the reception and nice read to the corner on that halfback wheel route we weren't playing deep enough but let's go deep and he severely underestimates Tavon Austin's speed but Tavon Austin severely underestimates how hard it is to catch a ball because that bounced right off his hands but there again Monte Ball taking a couple hits falling forward that's why I say he's played really well games like this showing this against top competition Monte Ball breaking tackles and stopping everything there's a nice Use read, but uh, it wasn't going anywhere. Matthew Stafford's 0 for 3. He's running some kind of uh, nano there. Crowder, oh my god. After that drop, I was nearly over the moon at my team. Not over the moon in a good way, but over the moon as in like Apollo 13 over the moon. Um, slash, we couldn't land on it. Slash, we're all going to die. Uh, but nice, bad read on him. And Mr. Parker makes like Peter and spiders his man into the end zone. So there's six points. We're going up, and he gets the ball back. But going up by a touchdown against him with 342 left in the half. As he gets a nice little roll out for the eight yard gain. No first down there. Nice little corner out again, but it sails over both of our heads. Man, we got black sails here. Uh, maybe I should stop with the TV references. So actually, that was a comic reference. Spider Man, I don't know what you think. Movie reference? Can Oh, just out of our grasp on the almost clutch fourth down. We just had a little bit more. Uh, oh, sh Nikes. Look at that spec catch. So yeah, he's throwing a lot of corner routes, it looks like. Um, so, uh, not the most amazing offensive. He scrambles, throws corner routes um, at a halfback wheel. That was my offense at 15, as people, uh, if you've been here for that long, probably, what, there's one or two of you, maybe? Dean, I'm guessing. And uh, like maybe a couple of others, actually. But split close. It's sort of hard to shut down, but it's not impossible. I wonder if they're going to take that play out of the split close formation next year. Do you think it's so powerful like that they'll remove it like they did PAN around or look to fix that offensive play next year? Um, so, yeah, he misses that nicely, um, but he gets the, I think, nano through there. He's sending kind of an overload. I wouldn't call it a nano so much as an overload blitz. There's Crowder redeeming himself for his ugly, ugly drop earlier. So we read the uh, nice little green, I, wouldn't, I was going to say screen, but that's more of a drag route. And my uh, football knowledge is kind of a drag. So we're two for seven and still leading the game. Stafford. So maybe I overestimated how well Stafford played for me, but two of those are drops actually. So Stafford's oh, put it right on their hand, but they still dropped it. There's a nice little out route. Vic, for some reason, cannot hit that uh, speed out, but Stafford doesn't seem to have a pro po problem in the pocket. Throwing it there, we take a hit, and let's go up by two scores. So score 15, 13 seconds left in the first half as we play it out here. Can he go deep on me? And we get the nice little pressure, Aaron Donald, the the tackle. So I, I in my main team, I do two run stuffers up the middle. But in this, I've, I've done, gone with Aaron Donald. And right there, he proved his worth getting that sack. So he went deep. We're going into the uh, second half for the first play. And we pick it off, Thomas DeCoud. Things just are going my way, getting the spec catch. He run commits, so I just toss it over the top. And Mr. Brandon Marshall 
waltzes into the end zone like a 19th century dance, drops the ball, and he can see it. So that's the end of the game. Uh, GG, I will uh, put some more gameplay against top competition up on the channel soon. Take it easy, guys.